Hey everyone, welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name's Humphrey Chung, and man, I'm looking dark, tan. I guess that's what happens when you're in Thailand for almost two months now, more than two months. Okay, we're here in Pattaya. We're gonna be doing a resume review, our famous Router Gods resume review. Once again, we do these for free for our Router Gods members, and we're looking at someone, we'll just call him K. And before we get into this resume review, we will do our favorite drink. Always makes uh, the resume reviews more fun. Not to say they're not fun to begin with, but we might as well spice it up a bit. Um, also, it's raining. It's, uh, it's 2.41 on a Sunday, September 26th. And between August and October is uh, rainy season in Asia. So if you come to Thailand, if you come to Singapore, you come to Malaysia, pretty much in the area, it's going to be raining quite a bit. So, okay, here we go. So we've got a resume in front of us. This person is looking to kind of break into IT, get a more network engineering, move up from help desk, kind of the typical story that you see a lot of people uh, do. He's got some uh, formal schooling behind him. He's getting some certs, he's getting some vocational training, so that's good. So let's just take a look. So we'll call him K. Along the top, we've got his personal information. Of course, we always privatize this information just to protect everyone's, uh, well, privacy. So we've got a, a summary or a synopsis up at top. We have a summary of skills. We've got uh, education and uh, operating system applications. That's kind of weird because you have a summary of skills here. And then you have a summary of applications here, which is, uh, it's, a, it's a bit strange. Volunteer history, employment history. So uh, right off the bat, the order of this resume is uh, non-standard, but uh, we'll keep going. So we got bullet points. Let's just kind of take a look at the bullet points here. Almost looks like different fonts, but this was a copy and paste thing. Um, so one thing when you do a resume review, but try to make it easier on us by putting it into Google Docs. That way the back and forth can be a lot faster. When you do a Microsoft Word, I've got to take the Microsoft Word, put it into Google Docs and you know pass it back to you. Uh, so just Google Docs, something that is on the cloud that's able to be shared uh, very quickly for edits. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. So seven positions in the last uh, six years or so. That's quite a bit. Uh, let's just see, this one was about uh, one and a half years. This was for a couple months. This was for a couple months. This was for one month. This was for a, let's call it a year. So uh, six months, something like that. So we have a lot of um, very short positions and I think that's because uh, this person does a lot of contract work and so when you're doing that type of stuff you may want to condense down the the contract work because you don't want to make it seem like here's two month thing two month thing three month thing it makes it almost look like you uh, started and quit multiple jobs even though that's not true even though that's uh, that's the nature of contract business but we'll get to that in a sec so okay let's start from the top Let's just, uh, before we get into the synopsis and the summary here, let's just take a look at the order. So we have a, the fluffy summary. We have a summary of skills. We have education. Uh, this person does have a bachelor's degree. So in this case, depending on how strong your previous work experience is, you may want to put the work experience before the education. If you don't have a lot of work experience, then you would put the education in front of experience. Uh, so, Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity 2015, that's pretty good. Um, okay, yeah, I, I would put that, um, I guess I would put that at the top because we've got some PC technician stuff. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's okay to put uh, at the top. What I would do is I would consolidate this operating system and applications. Uh, don't worry about like the funky formatting here, that's because of a copy and paste, so that wasn't, that wasn't necessarily this person's fault. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy, cut that and put it here for now. 
And I would put the volunteer stuff. So this person's been volunteering at this uh, Linux users group, which is pretty cool. Um, now, volunteer experience is good to put if you're more than just a, a member. So this person's belonged to this Linux user group for let's see, seven years or so. Just being a member, not that exciting. Uh, if you've been a member and you've done some stuff, so you've done some presentations, you've helped out, then I would definitely put more. But just being a member of a, of a user group, not, it's not that strong of a, of a point there. Uh, but if you have extra stuff to add on, like uh, positions of leadership, extra stuff, uh, speaker things, then I would, I would put that here. But as it is right now with just being a member, I would, I would put this at the bottom. Okay, so let's, let's take a look here. Worked in a help desk, worked in help desk break fix role for the last for three years, supporting an office of 25 employees and additional employees at two other locations. Okay, this consisted of PC replacement rebuild. Okay, so basically they're describing, they're describing their job. Uh, two, to helping the director of IT or systems analyst with replacing old switches. That's kind of weird grammar there. And routers, uploading of config files, handling of incoming tickets, including printer issues. Then there was a downtime. I was iPro TV studying for CCNP, looking for a new opportunity to grow. Okay, that hurt my head. Um, <laughs> so let's do this. Three years, help desk break fix. Okay, three years, help desk break fix. For three offices of 25, just add up the, add up the number of employees for all the locations. So let's just call it, uh, if, if the other locations of two, let's say it's 10. So, you know, whatever it is. You know, so you can tighten that down. Three years, help, help desk, break fix for three offices of 30 and five employees, right? PC replacement. This consisted of PC replacement and rebuild of users. Uh, main tasks PC replacement rebuilding of user profiles user profiles and software use well what what kind of software Details, please. Just software, what kind of software, right? Okay, so three years, help desk, 35 employees, PC replacement. How many PCs, right? How often did you do the, do the PC replacement? Uh, what did you do to rebuild the user profiles? So that's pretty good, you know, desktop, break fix type stuff. To helping the, geez, okay, so you configured replaced how many old Cisco switches, what type were they, uploading of config files, handling all incoming tickets. Well, okay, so if you're a help desk person, it's understood you're handling tickets. Printer issues, so I would actually consolidate the printer issues fixed printer, so I would consolidate that. Fixed printer issues, fixed printers, scanners. Fixed printers, scanners, Windows 10, Office 365, and other software. 
details. Okay, so the reason I'm kind of breaking this into two sections is this top part is the help desk part. Basic help desk, fixing software, fixing desktops. That's good, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone starts, everyone should start in help desk, break fix. And then the next section is, this is where you're starting to get into networking, engineering, etc. So you, know, you, you wanna make it seem like you're progressing in your career. Yes, you've, you've started at a help desk, but now you're doing bigger and better things. So if you've configured and replaced old Cisco switches, what type were they, be detailed, how many were they, uploading config files, uh, did you do any routing, did you set up any IPsec tunnels, that type of stuff. Did you do any subnetting, re-IPing, stuff like that. Uh, then there was downtime, I was on IP, yeah, okay, so let's just do this. Let's, let's not give a story. People don't want to hear it. And then we could just, something like that, right? So, summary is there. And this is your skills. Okay, let's go through the skills. Skilled at prioritize while working multiple tasks. In I diver okay, fluffy, gone. Give excellent customer service, gone. Support coworkers with troubleshooting, follow up. Okay, kill all this. Wow, soft skills to help admin, maintain and resolve issues. Okay, just nuke that whole skills section. That's, that's gone. Okay, operating system and applications. Okay, that's good. So you're listing in the, the SolarWinds and the VMware. Uh, when you put in VMware, you gotta be specific. Like, was it VMware Workstation, VMware Server 10, you know, whatever the version was. What did you do in VMware? Was it vMotion? Was it setting up VM hosts? I mean, interfaces? What did you do? Uh, Cisco iOS, okay, wh what did you do? Don't just say Cisco iOS. Android Apple phones. What did you do? Was it MDM? Was it configuration? Uh, you know, so you, you got to be more detailed in that type of stuff. You just can't say Apple phone. You know, it's who, who cares, right? So, okay, we've got that down. Got the education. Let's take a look at a couple of the previous employers. So February 2019 to June 2021, so this person's been here uh, two and a half years for a medical company in Illinois. Managed help desk, managed help desk, okay. Uh, how many users? Uh, I know put, uh, this person put it at the top, but managed help desk for 35 employees. PC repair, okay, cool. Set up new users, managed, set up and managed, set up, managed 80 users just tighten that down provided printer support for offices for offices canon multiple supported canon multi printers and what you know what did you do details what model of printers were there how many Helped with set up an HD prep of NAS. Okay, just, just say NAS system project. What did you do? Don't just say helped. How did you help? Configured new Cisco switches. What did you configure? What type of switches were they? How many were they? Were they stacked? Maintained Apple phones, okay. Android, Apple, iPhone support. What did you do? MDM, setting things up from scratch. You know, supported users with e-clinical works, so that looks like a electronic medical records, EMR. Um, just say e-clinical EMR support.
Okay, so uh, you've got seven bullet points there. That's actually quite a bit. So I would, So since this person's been here for two and a half years, this is the most recent position, I guess uh, seven is, is kind of a lot of bullet points, but I would reword this a little bit. So manage the help desk, that's put up top. NAS system project, that sounds pretty juicy. So I may put that um, third. Cisco switches, yeah, I'll put that towards the top. Maybe number one, because if you're trying to become a network engineer, so if you're, if you're trying to go more towards network engineering, why would you put bullet points for desktop support before the switches part? You want to prove to your future employer that you're starting to do more network stuff. So I would probably do something like that. Okay, Cisco switches first. NAS system project second, manage the help desk third, AD, th and then leave all the printer and other crap at the bottom. Okay. And of course, we'll, you know, we would clean up the bullet points and the, the formatting and all that, but I think you, you understand what's going on here. Okay, the next one, we've got three bullet points for tech systems. This is a contract job, most likely. So that's what tech systems does. Manage help desk for how many people? How many people? What kind of company? Was it a marketing company? Was it PR? Was it uh, manufacturing? Set up new users and manage users in Active Directory. Active Directory management and PC support. Provided printer, so just say printer support. Canon multi printer support. Pretty simple stuff there. Okay, the next one we got three bullet points some uh, print production. Print production, so he lasted around six months at this place and uh, print documents on demand for client tech pub department. So printing documents. Make sure the factory floor receives all forklift operations. Print. So, yeah, not very exciting there. I would probably cut down one of the one of the bullet points. I would maybe get rid of that one. Okay, for the next one, lasted. One month or less than one month. You know, I would just did, just kill that. And this one is uh, July, so was it August, September, October? So three months, janitor. Just get rid of that. And then you you'll you'll have this gap between May and November. Uh, you could fill it in with. Uh, you know, if you were studying for whatever, right? Just to fill it in. Help desk support, so March, uh, April, May, I mean, that's two months. This is a, if this was a contract job, state that contract two month term. That way when someone looks at it, it doesn't look like you got fired after two months. And uh, let's see, provide a help desk support for Windows and Mac. Windows and Mac. How about this? Windows, Mac, help desk support for Office and, so how many? How many employees? Remote user iPad support. Mm. 
manage users and workstations with Windows 2012. So what exactly did you do? Assisted with running, how about, how about just installed wired ethernet cables and ports. Ethernet printer, you know, XXX ports. And then we have supported SAS Office 365, supported just, just Office 365 and EMR support. Something like that. All right, so you get the point. A lot of this is tightening down on the grammar along with being more detailed in what exactly did you do? How many people did you support? Okay, so if, you, if you've managed Windows servers, what exactly on Windows server did you do? And we're gonna skip all that. And we already talked about the volunteerism. So it's, uh, what I'd like to see with this resume is, this is screaming to me, help desk. And we don't want this resume to look, to pigeonhole this person into a help desk role. So this is good. They're, they're studying for bachelor, you know, they're trying to get into cybersecurity. They're trying to get into network engineering. We want to see more network engineering projects. We want to see more VMware stuff. We want to see, like, is this person's kind of stuck doing normal mundane printer support. They need to get more projects into uh, the, the networking side of things. They need to have maybe a home, you know, I don't see anything with a home lab of, of building servers, uh, even just servers, right? More VMware servers, more uh, a networking lab, a Cisco lab. So this is what we need to see if this person wants to progress from the PC tech. So PC tech here, print production PC tech. So lots of PC tech, a lot of help desk, tier one help desk, right? And uh, you know, this, this person's in a danger zone. Started in help desk in 2017. So that's uh, four years, four and a half years. This person's been in, in PC tech help desk. So it's time, it's time to go up. It's time to go up into network engineering. And the way you do that is to get more projects in the network engineering server realm. Okay, so that was a quick and dirty uh, resume review. Also a little extra like job, uh, you know, job career advice. Uh, this is something we do all the time. They're pretty fun. And uh, I think this person's on the right track. Uh, they have to spend probably another, I would say another hour or two uh, working on this resume, do a second pass on this and see if they can get more detailed. Definitely want to get more detailed on especially the networking portion and the details portion of their uh, positions, their past positions. All right, Humphrey with Router Gods. As always, if you want your resume reviewed, we do it for free. RouterGods.com, the world's largest IT meetup group. Just past 5,000 members. Always free. We don't charge anything. And stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.